Welcome back to another video. On this one, I'll show you how to properly wash your vehicle except a rinseless wash method, meaning there's variations to the rinseless wash method. Um, that could mean no hose whatsoever and you just use a bucket of water. It could mean you still rinse down the vehicle one time and then go into the rinseless wash. There are variations to it. Here, I'll go straight with just a bucket of water and the vehicle, no rinsing, no garden hose, no pressure washer, none of that. Now, the reason why you would wanna do this is if it's winter time and you wanna wash your vehicle in your garage to stay away from the, from the cold. Um, if it's too hot outside, if it's 108, 110, and you'd like to stay in the shade of your garage. Um, so there's, there's various reasons why you'd wanna do a rinseless wash. So here I have just um, Uber rinseless wash. Now you could use whatever wash, rinseless wash that you'd want. There's so many of them. I'm not saying one is better than the other. It's just whatever you like, your price point, your preference of brand, use that. So this one calls for one ounce dilution of three gallons of water. Here I have about like two gallons of water. I'm still gonna just use one ounce. It's not gonna make or break this. So I'll take one ounce right here, fill it up, and dump it into the water right here. Now, you're not gonna want suds. Um, you're not gonna need bubbles or anything like that. Like it, It's a very straightforward process. Now you could use wash towel you can use towels um, here i'm using a wash mitt and to keep things simple i will just be using one wash media uh, for instance for uh, just because i'm, I'm going to assume that like, you don't have like we do we have a full um shelf of like 50 wash mitts and like 50 uh, wash towels so i'm going to assume you don't have that many on hand because why would you maybe you do so pretty simple we're gonna keep things very, 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 very simple. I don't wanna overcomplicate this. I don't wanna assume you have a bunch of everything because maybe you don't. So one wash mitt, one bucket of water, and your rinseless wash. Now, there are gonna be times where you can't do the rinseless wash. So there's gonna be a threshold to meet when you're doing this. For instance, if, if you went muddy and there's cake on mud or very, very dry dirt, um, the rinseless wash will probably be not the best option. Um, you'd probably want to rinse it. You'd probably want to foam it down or something to loosen up that layer of grime on the vehicle. Um, but here, relatively light, dirty. Um, it's been, you know, it, it's, it's not that bad. Like I'll, I'll swipe my hand here. You'll see a little bit of, a, of dirt it's coming off. But this one is a, is a perfect example of when you would want to use a rinseless wash method. Now. Um, I actually don't have a grid guard in the bottom of my bucket. We have them in the other bucket, so please forgive me on that one. But basically, you'd want to have a grid guard to capture any of that loose debris. But for this demonstration purpose, I'm not, I'm not too focused on like how I'm using the bucket. It's more so on how to implement the wash process here, okay? So just imagine that there's gonna be a, a grid guard in the bottom. So you don't, you don't need it to be completely soaked. So we'll just keep it, like, it's gonna be dripping a little bit, which is fine. There's a spider right here. So with this one, you want to use light pressure across the vehicle, right? Because we're not rinsing it down. There's still gonna be some light dust, debris, whatever it might be on the top surface. So we're gonna use light pressure across the entire vehicle when we're cleaning. Like, no, you're basically just holding the wash mitt on the vehicle. Now, usually the, the upper half of the vehicle won't be as bad as the lower half, typically speaking. So the top portion, you can clean more because you can go further with the cleaning because it's not, you're not gonna pick up as much grime. Now, once you're gonna go to the bottom portion or, you're gonna, or it's time that like this side has accumulated enough dirt, you'll flip it to the clean side. And again, you'll continue the wash process using very light pressure. I'm going awfully slow just for camera purposes, but you can typically go way faster than this. Now, You'll see that this half of the wash mitt has been used. So you can technically still use this whole portion right here. So you're almost breaking it off into two sections. So this half is dirty. So we can actually fold it a little bit here and get this entire side right here. And as you can see, and again, this little portion right here, you still have this clean section right here. So if you'd want, which I do all the time, is you wanna use that entire wash mitt. So now the entire wash mitt has been used Versus here, this portion is a little dirty, so I can actually even use this section here, this clean side. And you're gonna get it, and swipe your ruski, just like that. Now, the big concern 
is well what do you do because this washing is now dirty so again plenty of variations if you had a garden hose a pressure washer you could rinse this off you could have a secondary bucket to rinse off the wash mitt um so there's 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 a few routes you can go about it for this one keeping things very simple assuming you don't have every single last little tool or whatever whatever we're gonna just simply wring it out now uh, please imagine that i had the rear garden there i don't have it in this one but just, just imagine that i did and you'll dunk it back in and you'll be good to go like this again not the most ideal depending on how you're taking care of your vehicle but hey look if we're just going in there for a simple wash it's not corrected it's not coated um you know this this is a very ideal situation remember every, everyone is different with their vehicle right not every person is uh you know a, a detail enthusiast some people just want to go out there without burning in the sun without freezing outside and wash their vehicle and we can all respect that so again i'll go a little faster now the first panel was just as an example but here this is the actual speed that you can move at it does not take long whatsoever right you can inspect that you have this side now to work with right not gonna be perfect. Now it's fully dirty, right? So this one, you wipe here. And we are done, we'll go over here. And we can finish off this whole section right here because it's pretty tiny with this section right here. And we are complete. So then we would repeat that process. Again, adding some more variation, you can have multiple wash mitts, more wash towels. So let's say you have five wash mitts and they're all in the bucket, right? So that means you could actually use a new clean wash uh, wash mitt every single time you're gonna come clean the vehicle. So if you had five, you would use one for two doors. You would use one for the top fenders. You would use one for the hood, roof, and trunk deck. So plenty of variations that you can go with. Don't get stuck to one thing. Don't think one is perfect than the other. It's whatever fits your style based on your skill, your tool, your product selection, whatever you have available to you. So don't think there's just one way to go about it. Again, you could have rinsed it beforehand. Plenty of things you could have done. So now let's go to the very top section right here. I'll flip these. Now, this is the panel. Again, very easy with this one. It doesn't actually have to take you that long. You can actually go pretty fast with it. I'm just slowing down a little bit for the video. Now again, the bottom portion is always gonna be dirtier than the top half. So after here, I won't go back up. I'll actually rinse it out right here because this will be the dirtiest part. And come back to dunking it. I don't, I'm gonna wring a little bit of that, wring a little bit of that out. Now we got the bottom portion. I left that here at the bottom because at, I left this for the last part because it is the dirtiest. So here, I will just come here and swipe. That's all dirty. So I'll flip to this side now, right here, and finish off right here. And there we go. I'll wring it out. Again, this specific type of wash will be different based on if your car is corrected or coated or if you just want to take those extra steps to get a more proper wash. You could use a rinse and a wash bucket. You could have multiple um, wash mitts or wash towels in there and use a fresh one every time it's going to go to the paint. You could rinse it down beforehand, although it won't be, you know, it won't be a rinseless wash because you rinse it down. But if it, if it requires you to rinse it down first to loosen up that debris and get a lot of that debris off and then go into the rinse of the wash, that's also an option. You're still saving more water that way as opposed to if you did foam it down, rinsed it, washed it with a two bucket wash method, then rinse it again, you're still saving water in that regard. So please do not stick, don't, you know, there's no one perfect solution. It is based on your vehicle, what you're trying to do on your tools and products and your skill set. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So now we have to go into drying as I kind of bypass that. But the cool thing about rinsing is if you are working in the heat or wherever you are, you can dry as you go. So I'll come here. So again, it's adding to that variation of what you want to do and how you want to go about it. Um, as you were washing the panels, you could, you could go straight, like you could wash one panel and then take your favorite quick detailer or spray wax, spray it down, and then go straight into the dry process. And you can do that panel per panel. 
Now this is very helpful if you're in a very hot environment and you can't let the product dry. This will work perfect for you. And then we'll go to this side right here. Just a few sprays. That almost came undone. Again, does not have to take that long. This dry towel is pretty big, so I have to awkwardly hold it. Make sure it doesn't touch the floor so you don't pick up any rocks or debris to scratch the vehicle. Now see there's actually a little piece that I missed right here. If you'd want, you can go back and touch that up or maybe you could just spray a little bit of your quick detailer or spray wax and that'll lift it up and away from the paint. And that right there, very simple, very straightforward way to perform a rinseless wash. Again, you have the traditional two bucket, you have a rinseless, you have a waterless, and then within those three, you have plenty of combos and variation and variation that you can implement to wash your vehicle. Whatever you want, however you want, you using whatever you want, it's up to you, your preference, no perfect way. And just getting to the end result that you'd like for any of the uh, tools and products that I use I'll just have them linked down below just you get products that are similar it don't have to be the exact ones that I get just get a quality spray wax quality quick detailer quality microfiber towel to dry quality wash mitt whichever brand or whatever you want up to you but as long as it's from a reputable brand it should be a good product let me know if you have any comments questions or concerns down in the comment section and we'll see everyone on the next video